Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you all of my favourite products from 2018. These are my ride or die, have never let me down, always look amazing. If I'm going anywhere, they are coming with me. Quickly, if the audio is a bit shit in this video, I'm really sorry. Um, you can hear the autofocus like this. that sound <laughs> and I'm really sorry I know it's annoying but um, it's Wednesday today and on Friday a new mic stand is arriving so that my microphone is separate to the camera so you can't hear the autofocus but I just really felt like filming today so I thought I'd just do it these are my rival dies and I'm so excited to share them with you I feel like I really found what I love this year I found loads of products that I know work for me that I can just throw on and I can trust um, and the look I've made today is basically my go-to look at the moment. It's a bit more makeup than usual for me, but I've really been enjoying it. I think it's the new hair. I haven't addressed the hair. Um, yeah, I have cut my hair off. I mean, I know I've still got quite long hair, but my hair was like down to my waist and it's not anymore. <laughs> for me, this feels like a long bob, even though I know it's not a long bob. I've gone for like an ashy kind of gray. Let me know what you think down below. Do we like it? I kind of love it. I have linked everything I'm wearing down below. This, I have had so many compliments on. I've linked it down below for you. It's like my favorite item of clothing at the moment. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see my favorite products of this year. And leave a comment, let me know what your favorite products are. I'd love to know. So yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get cracking. My favorite moisturizer is actually empty because it's my favorite moisturizer. So I'm actually just gonna use the Smashbox primerizer which um, I like, but it's not something that I use a lot because I have a favorite moisturizer, which is the Fresh Rose Moisturizer, which I will link down below for you. It's some really good stuff. It's perfect for underneath makeup because it's so thin. It just soaks into your skin. It's great. It's amazing. I love it. All of my favorite products fit in this bag that I got from Laura Geller. They sent it to me. It's like press release thing but it's actually a really great makeup bag it says EJ on it basically every single one of these products you'll know you'll know that this is one of my favorites my lips have been freakishly dry recently which isn't something I've ever struggled with but I think I had an allergic reaction to a lipstick so I've been using this lip balm this is the fresh sugar peach lip balm I think the next step is probably the most obvious thing in the entire world but my winning combo for my primer is by Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum and the Neon Photography Fluid. These two are a match made in heaven for me. I just take like a blob of the Neon and then I take one pump of the by Terry and I just put this all over my skin. If you're new here, you won't have seen me use these products before, but uh, get accustomed to them because it's my favorite base. It's just so good because the Neod adds that glow, like look at that, but the By Terry adds a little bit of tint and moisture and oh my god, oh, it just looks so good. I've got two winning foundations I'd say for 2018, um, so I'm just going to mix the two together because it is actually a combination I like to wear mixed together. So my favourite, favourite foundations for 2018 have to be... NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is like at the very end. I've nearly finished this. In the NARS, I am Barcelona and I am 4.0 in the Urban Decay, but this is a little bit light for me, so mixing the two is actually perfect. So I just take one pump of the Natural Radiant and I take a kind of three quarters of a pump of the Urban Decay. This is such a full coverage combo but the NARS kind of helps to bring back a little bit of the radiance because the Urban Decay is so matte. I love the coverage of it so the two together is just amazing. Guys so I've obviously been at the flat for a few weeks now and I've now basically placed an order on all of my usual shops and had all of my kind of delivery drivers come and one of my favourites came today and it's quite nice because I live really close to where I used to live. Um, I'm like just down the road from my dad. So I've had all the same delivery men and they were really like shocked when I opened the door because obviously I get a lot of PR parcels and stuff like that. So they see me basically every day and it's funny seeing like all their faces like kind of processing like, I know you from somewhere. Ah, you don't live here. So here's how the skin 
is looking. Using just a little bit of a really high coverage foundation, I think just looks really, really nice because you don't have to wear so much product so it doesn't look cakey, you know? Concealer's really hard. I have three favorites. Um, obviously, the Tarte Shape Tape has to be a winner because I love the Tarte Shape Tape. But I've also loved these this year, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I use the shades Golden Beige, Almond and Chestnut for my base, my highlight and my contour. And I've also really loved the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. They're all winners in my eyes, but because there's three of them, I'll use the Too Faced. It's gonna go in with Golden Beige and I just apply this where I need a bit more coverage. Um, if I've got any blemishes, any scars. I'm now taking a bit of almond under the eye. Blending that all together. I'm now gonna take the darker shade which I use to contour. This is Chestnut. Chestnut is very dark, okay? So we are not using much because I'm not particularly tan. And I literally do a few dots. You can see where my contour is. I just go slightly above. And then just tap. We're going very light with it today. Because honestly, I actually, this has been my favourite of the year, but I haven't actually been using this as of recently. I've been using the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, which is slightly quicker. It literally is quickie but also it's a little bit lighter in shade, so it's slightly more natural for day to day. My winning powder has to be my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I just take my sponge. I don't really bake, I take a teeny amount and I just push it right here and on the side of the nose. This is the only place where I kind of tend to get oily. So I just pack and push in a little bit of extra powder because I don't like to wear much powder. Um, but I do just like to really make sure that the sides of my nose are set as well as just here. I don't like to put too much powder over here, like people who bake all the way like here. I feel like that mattifies my skin where I want to highlight and I don't see the point in that. Okay, my brows are no secret. The winning combination for me for 2018 was all from Benefit. 24 hour brow set, Gimme Brow and also Cabral. I've used the same eyebrow brush since I started on my channel. This is a MAC 266. It's the same one I've used forever. The writing is gone. I've never lost it. I would be devastated if I did. I love this brush so, so much. So in Cabral, I'm the shade three and I find that shade three matches my brows basically perfectly. I then go in with the 24 hour brow set. Honestly, this is the best brow gel ever. It just holds my hairs up and no other brow gel apart from soap, but I find soap brows to be just a bit of a faff, honestly. I'm like, so I, you mean I have to wet my beauty blender and my soap? like? That is just too much. <laughs> no, this is just so easy. It just, look at that, it just holds the hairs up. So I just brush the ones at the front really upwards. And then the other ones kind of like back. Once my brow gel has basically set, I go in with the Gimme Brow, but I use the shade four in Gimme Brow because I really just wanna pick up the individual hairs. So I used the darker shade for that before, after. Let me just do the other one quick. Okay, here's the brows. I mean, everyone saw this coming. The only product that I will use to contour my nose, Benefit Hula. Emma's Hula, it's true. If you are an OG subscriber, you'll remember that I used to use the NARS Eater Brush emails. So sorry. I used to use the NARS Eater Brush every single day to contour my nose and my face. And I lost it. And then I found it in an old brush roll. And I was like, oh my God. Because I have been using a Zoeva 228. But this is my favorite. <laughs> Before I use Hoola, I also then use my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 2, which is nearly completely empty. And I take it on a Real Technique setting brush. And I only take a tiny bit of this powder. It's lasted me for like two years. And I use this to actually brush my bake away and just to set my nose because this makes your pores 
disappear. I carry this in my handbag. This is great for touch-ups because you can reapply it and reapply it and it never cakes up on you. Whereas I find most powders, if you touch up more than once or twice in the day, it starts to look cakey. This is so thin. It's like having a loose powder in your bag without having to have a loose powder in your bag, if you know what I mean. Back to Hoola. I literally do that. Like, this brush is so quick. You just, boop, boop, boop. And that's it. I'm gonna prime my lid with my favorite lid primer of this year. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I use the shade Light. Sometimes I use a brush. It just depends how I feel, honestly. I've got two favourite palettes this year, one which is going to be no shock, I've not used it for a little while but when you actually see the state of this palette, my number one palette of the year has to be my Anastasia Soft Glam, look at the use on that, I don't think it's a secret that Burnt Orange and Sienna are my favourite eyeshadows of the year, <laughs> it's super simple, I just start with Burnt Orange, this is the look that I've been wearing on my Instagram loads recently and lots of you have been asking for a tutorial. I bring it all the way up to the brow like this because I feel like it adds a bit of an eye contour and it joins it with my nose. We're now gonna go in with a bit of Sienna. Now I go into Mulberry and I begin to pat this in the outer corner. Make sure you buff it in super well. My other favourite palette of the year has to be the Dose of Colours collaboration with Desi and Katie, the Frankation palette. The colour that sold this palette to me is just a kiss. I would buy this eyeshadow as a single in a heartbeat. It's gorgeous. I normally do this look as a matte look, but I feel like this needs a little bit of a moment in my 2018 favourites, so I'm just going to push it in the inner third of the eye. Oh, beautiful. It just changes up the look. These are my two favorite palettes of the year. The Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner. This is so good. It's so good. It's a super fine brush tipped nib, which I love. two favourites have to be, these two have been my favourite mascaras, the Bad Girl Bang and the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara. These are definitely my two faves. Let's quickly throw some makeup under the eyes. So I'm going to take my Soft Glam palette again and I'm just going to take a little bit of Sienna. Because my eyes are really round, I get this little ridge in here where my socket is and then where my brow goes. So I get this little like dip and I fill that dip like all the way down here and pull it straight so that my eyes look more. <laughs> Recently, I have been using this Revolution Rose Gold Glitter Shadow Paste stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop this. It's so crazy how reflective it is. It looks insane in photos. Chunky lower lashes, why not? The lashes I'm gonna put on are from Doll Beauty. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, so they will be linked down below in the description. They have been my favorites for the past couple of months. They're like super fluffy. So I'm gonna put these on really quick and then we'll finish testing my face. I think they're super nice. They're like really fluttery. This has been one of my hero products this year. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Um, like I say, I don't use a lot of powder. However, if I have a long day ahead of me or if I'm going clubbing and, um, cause at the moment, none of this has been set. My, basically my whole face is still creams apart from under my eyes and my nose. So this powder is super fine and it also is a lit, has a little bit of a glow to it. It's got tiny, tiny iridescent flecks in it, but like your face doesn't look shimmery or anything like that. You don't look like Edward Cullen, but I just use this. Anywhere where my foundation might come off, that I don't mind there being a bit of glow. Barely any product. It's what I kind of set the top portion of my face. I just find that this helps my makeup last all day, but it doesn't make me look super matte, which is just not 
my vibe. Okay, bronzer wise, I have got two, which I've loved a lot this year. I've got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Dark Bronze or Deep Bronze and the LC Cosmetics in Tan. I'll use the Butter Bronzer to add some more definition, I think, and then I'll go in with the LC to warm myself up. I love how the Physicians Formula bronzers smell. It smells so good. I just follow where we've kind of created that new cheekbone. Um, it just lifts my face slightly. My cheekbone is here and we've kind of just lifted it up. It slims your face. And for me, most of the time anyway, my hair is like this. So the angle that it comes at, the back of my actual cheekbone is covered anyway, so I can tell, I can pretend that my cheekbones are anywhere I want. If I want cheekbones up here, I could do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it just makes your skin look like butter, as the name would suggest. I have loved this brush this year. This is the Sigma F50. This is such a throwback old school brush, a good old massive duo fiber brush. I've loved it for bronzer, so I'm gonna take my LC. I really don't need any more bronzer, but I feel like I wanna use it. <laughs> and I actually just pull this across like this. So I start at the back, I buff it into my contour, and then I pull it up, and softly, that's why I like a duo fiber. It kind of meets with the nose contour, and helps to tone down the highlight under the eye. Things are starting to come together. I'm starting to look a little bit more human. We're getting there. Blush of the year, no competition, hands down, has to be orgasm. It's some good stuff, okay? But it's warm, it's got gold in it, it's basically the perfect blush for my skin. I've been really into blush recently. I always put on a little bit extra if I'm like, going clubbing or something like that because blush fades so fast. So I always put a little bit extra on. It's time to spritz my face. So the setting spray of the year for me has actually been the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. It is so fine. I love setting my face because I do just find that it makes everything just look seamless. My favorite highlight of the year is really hard because there's so many that I love. I loved the Anastasia Amrezy. I love the Melt Cosmetics one. I love the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie, but I'm really struggling to choose between these two. Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I just used that gold. You can see I've used it a lot. And obviously my main bay, Becca Opal. I'm gonna mix the two. <laughs> I'll start with Opal, my baby. Oh, it's so good. And then I'm gonna also go in with a little bit of the Dior, because why not? Just on the very, oh. I then respray. Use a photo of you and your best friends, it's a fan. <laughs> Sorry guys, love you. <laughs> Are you still with me? Even with the annoying autofocus noise, which I know is happening all the time and I'm really sorry I can hear it. My lips have been the same basically every day for this year. Recently I've been really enjoying wearing red lipstick, which is completely different to me when you see what I've normally worn. Every single day that I've worn makeup, I've worn this lip combination. The first thing is this lip liner. This is from Pure Cosmetics and I have no idea what it's called. It came in a set with a lipstick and a lip gloss and it is my perfect nude. And I'm really sorry that I don't know what, what it is. I've tried to find it and I can't. So another liner that I've been loving is the Morphe Bite Me lip liner, which you will have seen me use many, many times on my channel. So this is another good one. It's a bit dark for what I want today. I don't want a 90s nude. I want like just a nude nude. And this is the lip combination that I wore in a recent Instagram. Here. If you don't already, please follow me on Instagram. It's currently my favorite social media. I overline a lot. Loads of you have been asking if I've had lip fillers. You can clearly see now I haven't had lip fillers. I just overline the crap out of my lips. That is my natural lip line. I go here. You see the difference that makes? That is nowhere near my real lip line. But it just makes your lips look so much fuller. You see how much bigger my lips look? The power of lip liner, man, the power of lip liner. And if you wanna go crazy, which I often do, um, I'll go in with Bite Me. Right under here. And here. Here. And here. This combination is my favorite lip combination of all time. This is Maybelline Matte Ink in the shade Driver. 
and this is Jeffree Star in I'm Nude. These together are amazing. Driver is more warm and then Jeffree Star is more pink. So I put driver all over. Sorry guys, you cut out there. I, I then just put I'm Nude right in the middle and patted it in. So you guys, here is my current go-to face if I'm going like out for dinner, even if I'm going clubbing, I've just been wearing this because it's quick. I know this is a long video, but I've been talking in a lot of detail. And these are all of my favorite, favorite, favorite products from 2018. 2018, I feel like I got my routine down, but I'm really excited to see what 2019 brings, what products get released. I've already tried some new products this year that I'm really enjoying and I'm excited to use in videos. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry about the sound. I don't know if the lighting's okay. I hope it is. If not, give me your feedback because uh, it's my first beauty video I filmed in this room um, or in this space full stop because my office is currently not usable at all. Just let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, any requests that you might have, leave them down below for me. I would love to hear them. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I've linked everything I've used down below. I can like wholeheartedly recommend you these products. I know they work. I wear them literally every single day. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have the best day. I love you so much. It's crazy. Like, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please, please, please subscribe. I would love it if you would join. I upload, I am gonna try my hardest to upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I think might be my new schedule. Also follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. They are both linked down below. And if you wanna shop my merch, there is a link down there for that as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.